Today we're going to look at a very, very special 1967 L79 Bloomington Gold NCRS Top Flight. This vet has been professionally restored using 99.9 .9 original parts. Nothing has been replaced since judging. This may not sound like a big deal, but it's very common for vintage Corvettes to use loaner parts, which are borrowed from other cars. This car is special enough that I've actually brought the owner of Biovet, Greg Rush, in today to go over this car with us. Greg, if you'll kind of help me let our folks understand why this car is so special. And what Sounds good. Is. Go ahead, John. You start off and... Sure. This is a 67, which is special in itself, being the last year of Corvette. Marina Blue, which is an extremely popular color. And original. Now, Greg, when we talk about original, meaning the parts are from 67, correct? That's correct. And if they uh, retain the stamping, or if they were stamped as an original part, so of course that would be with the car. Some parts are not stamped, but that's you, where they came from the factory, not stamped, but the other parts are. Okay, that's and you correct. see a lot of the cars. Why is original such a big deal? It should be around quite a bit, or not? No, it's, uh, there's so many companies manufacturing aftermarket parts. Well, I do too. You know, I've made over 150 discontinued Corvette parts from uh, bumpers for C3s to center console shift plates, a headlight zinc gear for the mid-year. So, I mean, you know, the, but what is so special is to have the original parts, not reproduction parts. And that even goes down to, like, you can buy reproduction wing nuts. But the original wing nut is a little bit wider than the reproduction. Oh, you wow, can okay. buy a, a reproduction lid, but the difference is is weight. You can tell right away this is an original if oh, you okay. compared it. So that's what I'm talking about when it's a, it is all original parts. The nice thing about it is, is it, it, it's exactly as it came from judging and got such a high score. That means somebody hasn't taken any parts off of it, valuable parts and replaced them after judging, and, which I condone anybody that does that. So we're represented, uh, this is as it came from judging. Very nice. Now a reminder, this is a top flight car uh, with judging as well as a Bloomington Gold certified car. So very well judged, very well looked at. Uh, the one thing that I always tell people when you're looking for a car that's original is remember, it's original. And Greg, you can- They're only the original one time. That's right, only once. And when you go to drive an original car, this is more of an investment quality car, would you say? Definitely. A, an investment grade. Definitely, not, not this is an investment. Not on the road every weekend and, and head down to Florida with. We've got plenty of those. This is more of a show car, would you say? Yeah, and okay. maybe drive around town, drive to North Georgia, you know, but I wouldn't recommend taking a car like this to California, Route 66. <laughs> Boy, would that be fun. We do have a reproduction of the original window sticker um, so that we can see what options were on the car as well as our certifications. Again. We do have the original tank sticker and wow. it's still on the tank. Nice. Yeah, Even that better. comes with the car. Now, 67 was the first year of the tank the sticker. First year, right? first year of the tank sticker. So anybody tells you 65's got a tank sticker, well, not exactly uh, right. No, that's not. <laughs> so, 67. Um, now, I see the top's in really good shape. That's original even. It's not even hardly any dirt on it. So, I mean, this Here's is something a little trivia piece. that's yeah. kind of neat. Okay, m many cars you'll see, many Corvettes, mid-years, have a, a reproduction one of these because they tend to pit. Uh, it's a cast metal and the chromine pits over time. But a telltale sign, see that hole right there? Yeah. Okay, that little dimple is small and that's original. The reproduction is a little larger. So if you open up a lid and you see that uh, it almost takes your whole front finger in the hole, then it's a reproduction. But more importantly, that's the original paint on the car. Oh wow. Now this is new, but notice very well matched. that the condition of this, it's not faded or anything and it's, uh, so is the paint That's some of the fun little trivias of this car. Is the paint on the car original? No. Okay. No. It, this, this is new for uh, Bloomington approval. You would normally go back with uh, lacquer 
But a base coat, clear coat, just gives you much more luster. They're allowing a base clear now. But the trick is, is to mix some of the base with the clear. And it's just enough, sort of close enough to a lacquer, in between lacquer and clear. And it holds up so well being a clear coat. But uh, that's something new. So this one, it's only got 20 something miles since it's been restored and judged. Wow. So you can, but it's the- really a time piece, folks. This whole scene has the bright blue interior. And from what I understand, the marina blue with the bright blue is a fairly rare option as It well. is rare. And, and some other little trivia, these are the original door panels. Really? Yes, okay. in this condition. Now the carpet's been replaced. Uh, but the door panels retain those because, eh, like I say, they're in good condition. A little bit dis uh, discoloration. Okay. But it's nice to know. I mean, the car yeah. never fell on tough times over the years. Every knob in those, no, there's no reproduction knobs. Oh, wow. Those are all original knobs and in excellent condition. So you've been doing this for an awful long time, Greg. Oh. How many of these kind of cars do you think you've seen lately? Well, <laughs> I've seen t tens of thousands of Corvettes at shows and everything else. It, it's, it's hard to uh, find one that you just can't find fault with. And this is one of those rare ones that uh, is just a beautiful car. Very rare and very desirable. Factory side exhaust too. You know, there's a lot of big blocks people ordered with the factory exhaust installed at the factory. This is a 350 horsepower factory exhaust. Even that's rare. Okay. So anyway, I could go on and on about it. It's got non-DOT tires, which are great for shows. You take those off. Let's put on some nice radials. radials. Yeah. These are old four ply, non-DOT. Those are trophies for the wall in your garage. That's what they should be used for. Anyway. This Corvette, or any of our hundreds of Corvettes, 770-605-2056, or John at buyavet.net. We'll look forward to seeing you all out on the road. Y'all come down to see us now.